Jerry, this video is for you, buddy. Um, uh, per request, and yes, I've got a lot of wood stacked in mine, but I've got it just kind of sizzling from the middle. It is, uh, it is burning, putting off a lot of heat. Uh, this is usually, I, I don't usually put that much heat, uh, wood in there before I go to bed, but, um, I do have uh, a little advice. I used these uh, bigger nuts and uh, bolts just just because uh, I know they're not going to burn out near as fast. You know, probably give it a couple years. But uh, I did put three on both sides uh, of my hinges. And I don't know why I did this. I put I actually I put this one in the wrong spot. Uh, <coughs> kind of funny, but yeah. My hinge right here is just a uh, simple little, but it catches both here and down here. And I cut this little notch out. So that when it all comes together, it overlaps and covers it up. And this right here creates a, a draft. Actually, you can probably already see it, start to see, but uh, per request, Jerry, this is for you, man. I won't give you all the dimensions on here. Um, I put me a, a nut and bolt right up here at the top. And, some uh, pretty thick wire. You can do it with one hand. Just clip the door open. Load this thing with wood and uh, have a good old nice warm day. But uh, yeah, here we go. <clears throat> oh, I just centered this. It's it ain't perfect. Nothing special. You don't even have to put that in there. But. The dimensions on this for mine uh, is the hole that I cut out is, let's see here, yeah just a little over one foot. One foot would be uh, plenty tall enough. And I, I came off of the bottom uh, four inches. So from four to one foot, I mean, you got an eight inch opening there uh, on the front of the door. And uh, mine is actually almost a foot wide, looks like. Yeah, 11 and a half inches. But I mean, eight inches by 11 inches would be fine uh, like I said I just now this piece of metal right here uh, I cut that off of uh, the side of a washing machine and then just sanded it down and uh, this middle I just cut a little hole right there and it flaps down above that and this hole right here is centered and it is six inches wide by nope. looks like four yeah almost four inches tall but I mean you know you got uh, you could go all the way to a six inch flap on the front but you really you want to do really no more than four or five. Uh, four works perfect for me because it comes down and it, it gives me that, you know, that much of an opening. Uh, it's nice and wide. It, it makes the air blow in there just perfect. And when you're not, you know, once it's lit real good, you can just take and uh, I prop a stick up. 
right there beside it. Uh, you know, not very far. Just just propped open a few inches. Uh, I can probably get my door to stay there without the stick. Yeah, I can. That's that's my poker stick. It's what I use to poker the ashes with, I guess. <laughs> But, uh, no, I mean, you can go to your local hardware store and get any of this stuff. It's fairly simple. Uh, I do advise that you burn your 55-gallon drum out very good uh, over about a week period. Burn a good fire in it every single day and burn all of the paint and stuff off of it before you bring it in your house and uh, mess everything up. You know what I mean? All right, I cut a uh, six-inch hole. <clears throat> This pipe that I got is a six inch uh, flue pipe. You can get it at basically any of your local hardware stores. And if you'll notice, uh, six inches from, uh, from the edge over is where the middle of my six inch circle is. Um, and I notice that this stuff is on here. Uh, this right here is actually, it's a, uh, sealer. I had to replace a little bit because I, I beat and bang on stuff all the time. And I'm always, I don't know, I'm a guy, uh, so... I had to put a little bit more back in there, but this, uh, let me show you, it actually comes from, uh, just about any local hardware store also, uh, let me get a tube of it, I'll show you what it looks like, oh, it's, a uh, high heat mortar, uh, you just put it in a regular size caulk gun, I've, that's what I've got, and, uh, Cut you a little, little bit off the end, just the tip, right here, and just squirt it right around the edge. Make sure you get, you know, a six inch hole. It has to be a six inch hole, and I came six inches off of the back to the center of my six inch hole. I got a nine eater drill elbow going up here. It was about six bucks it was real cheap and then uh this piece of the flu uh this is actually a uh wash machine the side off a of wash machine i just cut a uh, square out of it that was the same size as my window and i've got the uh silver tape here also sealed this and this stuff on the outside or on the inside because uh, the heat doesn't get too hot up here I've actually got uh, a layer of caulk on the outside I'm sure everybody wants to see that too um, but yeah you can do all this yourself at home I would advise if you do do this uh, make sure that you insulate uh, whatever area you're going to put it or put this thing on a stand uh, me personally, I've got this right here is just ashes that I've gotten out of it and I keep it in front of it because uh, every once in a while the spark will come out or something uh, while you're lighting it and stuff where you got the uh, door going and you open up the flap and you'll see a little spark come out or something. Uh, nothing really hazardous. Uh, don't put this on carpet or anything, you know, that would be dumb. Uh, I just got a few bricks right here holding the front. Uh, some insulation and then I've got this as a barrier uh, uh, kind of like a, a heat shield back here and this never gets it never gets too hot back here or anything uh, that's cold as ice right now now this it has a little bit it's just warm it's not even hot right now I can touch it uh, as much fire as I've got in there if it wasn't uh so fresh i mean this thing would be just blazing hot right now but uh, it's not uh hope y'all enjoyed my video 
If you have any suggestions, you can email me at tcb1780 at aol.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I think that's how all that goes. I don't know. Thanks.